Hey, what the hell is going on, you guys? It is Tuba Player Negative AE, and welcome back to another episode of When They Cry. We are powering through this game. Um, I so I guess we're reading tips today before we freaking get into anything. Uh, this game is doing a good job of making me like certain characters, and I am wary of that. Uh, I like Shion a lot. I like Rika a lot now. It. it it just opens up, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, I'm just saying it just opens up the possibility that the game could be like, this person's now evil, you know? Or this person was always evil, you just saw a certain side of them. So, I, I still think that Rika-chan is weird, and that Xi'an is also weird just being connected to the Sonazaki family. Here we go. Uh... The three modern, the three families in modern times. As previously described, the three families council today is a mere shell of democracy. In reality, it is a dictatorship run by the Sonazaki family. Both the Kimiyoshi and Furude families are far from their former glory, and it doesn't seem at all like they've maintained their ancient traditions. Only the Sonazaki family has retained their glory from the past and inherited many colorful traditions from the age known as Onagafuchi Village. Even the most recent, verifiable example of the Watana, of Watanagashi that occurred at the end of the Meiji era seems to have been done under the orders of the Sonazaki family. Refer to the three families' genealogically, genealogical tree from the late Meiji. After the start of the Meiji era, the Sonazaki family wanted to push the development of Hinamizawa village, so they took on a strong role in leadership. During the dam wars a few years ago, the Kimiyoshi family served as the chair of opposition alliance. Served as the chair of the opposition alliance. But this was in name only. In actuality, the Sonazaki family reigned as their leader behind the scenes. People whisper that perhaps the Kimiyoshi family dictated acts of opposition that could be publicized, and the Sonazaki family enacted those which could not. Even in Hinamizawa, they whispered that the magnitude of unsettling incidents reported during the dam protests, such as the kidnapping of the famous head of ministry, head of the Ministry of Construction's son, had been carried out by the Sonazakis. Additionally, they say that perhaps the Sonozaki family's secret maneuvering was responsible for the serial freak death incidents that have continuously occurred in recent years as well. The serial freak death incidents are without a doubt the second coming of the traditional Watanagashi. They must be enacting the Watanagashi on the day of the original Watanagashi, which has fallen to the level of an ordinary village festival in order to remind the villagers of the holy laws of Onigafuchi village. It is safe to assert that exploring the Sonazaki family is the fastest route for researching it today. If I can expose the contents of the Furude Shrine storehouse, I'd like to narrow my research to target the Sonazaki family next. The Sonazaki house is strictly grounded by security cameras on the premises, but thankfully, I've become acquainted with the sisters, Mion, and on the next heir and Shion. I want this to be a breakthrough I can connect to my next line of research. The punishment isn't over. The man red-faced waved his hand to say that he had enough and disappeared into the brilliant neon lights in front of the station. Shinya 
that we have been suppressing the information Tomitaki and Takano-san's deaths were already known throughout Hinamisawa. All of those rumors pointed to them having incurred the wrath of Oyashiro-sama for setting foot in the Forbidden Temple, the storehouse for ritual implements. According to the rumors, there were two other people who went in there with them, Shion Sonozaki and Keichi Mebara. People were whispering in the shadows that those two would be cursed by Oyashiro-sama as well. Apparently, however, the responsibility did not fall solely on the four trespassers' shoulders. Until last year, it was locked up tight, but this year, it had been changed to a simpler lock. Hadn't that been what allowed the thieves to enter so easily? Those are the rumors going around. This year it was a very simple and cheap padlock. The lone girl protecting the shrine, Rika Furude, disliked the heavy locks and consulted with the mayor. Had replaced it with a simpler padlock. だから村長と古出理科も同罪ってことなんですか？だとしたら村長に続いて古出理科もまずいじゃないですか？その可能性は大ですね。ひなみざを巡回している不倫者に死刑を出ない。これで神社近辺に張り付く。了解する。Interesting. That is very weird that that's the case. There was a lot of information in that one line that he said. I. It's weird. I don't know if they're going to chalk it up to coincidence because a lot of games do that where they're like, oh, it's just a coincidence that Xi'an and my main character, Keichi Mebara, talked to both the mayor and Rika, the ones that were j responsible for changing the padlock anyway, uh, which is weird. That, like, And it's weird that there's six people getting affected by this now. Like, before it was just, alright, you only had to worry about two people. Now it's like six people? What are the rules? I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. <sighs> After hanging up on Xi'an, I searched for Rika Chen's phone number on my school contacts list. There it is. My fingers trembled with urgency, and I failed multiple times to put in the simple five-digit number. Keiichi, how long have you been calling? At night, it's time to send a message to the police. No, now it's not the case. I shouted angrily at my mother, listening to the dial tone. Pick up, come on, pick up. Is he gonna pick up? Well, I, I, maybe not. Certainly wasn't early. Essentially the middle of the night. Probably. Your phone would be ringing constantly though, so would you get back up for me? Didn't pick up. Maybe she just happened to miss it. Maybe her bed was just too far away from the phone. The sound of a phone ringing gets clearer and clearer the longer you go on sleeping. Bathroom? Yeah, she must be taking a bath. If that was the case, then even if she heard the phone, she wouldn't be able to pick up. It was a little late to be taking a bath, but it was possibly... But it was possible she normally took baths right before going to bed. I'll wait 30 minutes, then try calling again. If she's asleep, though, if she's asleep, though, I think we're being illogical about this. Even as I was thinking that, I called her house over and over again. Although, maybe we're not. I don't know. Like, she's obviously marked for death, but, like, I also don't know. I kept calling over and over and over again. 
I kept on calling her, but she didn't pick up even once. Kept. I think I kept trying for about 30 minutes, yet she wasn't picking up. Were my phone calls so persistent that she had gotten scared of picking up the receiver? No, that couldn't possibly be it. There was no point in doing this any longer. The best thing to do would be to go in there in person. Or go there in person. Where was Rika Chan's house, though? Oh, f fuck. Oh, I know exactly where this game is headed with this. Oh, I know exactly where the game is headed with this. Her residence is written there on the contacts list, but it, it was an address written in mostly numbers, so I couldn't tell where it was just by reading it. This man's gonna go to Rika Chan's house. Rika Chan is going to be dead inside that house. The police are circling this house, right? I'm gonna go in there, the police are gonna be like, Keichi Mebara, what the hell did you do? And then I'm gonna be like, I don't know, it's not me, and then I'm gonna cry in prison. Boom. Called it. Either that or I'm gonna escape somehow. Or... I, I don't... I, that's what's gonna happen. Isn't there a map or something in here, Rika Furude? Her last name was Furude. It was a bit of an odd last name, so it might be easy to find. Thinking that, I rummage around the door with the phone book and only manage to find things like pickup menus and public and phone numbers for public establishments. Shit, shit, shit. I tore one thing after another out of the drawer, but didn't come up with any clues as to where Rika Chan's house was. Come down. He always says that. Why does he always say that? If you don't know, then just ask. Ask someone who does who does know. No. No. No, no, no. <laughs> I hate how we don't know that Ren is a demon. I hate it. Yeah, and wait a second. Oh my god. The voice of a grumpy sounding man. Must have been Rena's father. I'm calling in the middle of the night, I need to be polite. Oh, yeah, Reina,お風呂に入っていますが。レイナは風呂に入っていますが。あ、出たかな。レイナ、友達から電話だぞ。Oh right, Rena, Rena Ryugu was her real name, wasn't it? It's weird saying Rena now that I've said Rena for so long. Uh, I'd gotten so used to calling her Rena, <laughs> yeah, that her real name caught me a little good. I'm mad. I'm mad that we don't know Rena is. Uh, Rena seemed a little appalled that I called that I'd call her for something like this like that at this hour. However, she spoke her next word seriously, as if she caught on to how urgent my need was. I couldn't immediately visualize the place, but as long as I knew she lived on the shrine grounds, I'd just have to take a look around. Boom, here we go. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Rena asked in an unusually sharp way, halting me before I could hang up the phone. I hate this. I hesitated for a moment about whether to tell her. Don't. Yeah, good. Oh, thank God. Yeah, that. Yes, that was, that's perfect. Thank God. Yeah, don't tell Rena anything. <laughs> Rena affected by her usual tone, but beneath her breath lay a certain tension, like she'd intuitively sensed something was going on. What will you do, Keiichi? If it's Rena, can't I tell her? No. Remember? He was killed because he found out. Yeah, exactly. Get out of here. I revealed everything, so he was killed. Hey, 
に聞いてるんだけどな。I'm hmm. Trying to ask me once again in a tone so forceful, I couldn't even imagine her using it normally. I was taken aback by her vigor. I know it was Rika Chan's friend too. She had the right to be concerned about. Yes, thank you, but don't tell her. And even if for a moment I could drive away my horse, why? <laughs> Don't tell her. Please don't tell her. Just from that tone, I can feel her saying, no matter what you say, Keiichi Kun, I'll believe you. A subtle sense of security gave me the courage to reveal. Oh, I fucking. Oh my god. Oh, I hate you. Oh, gosh, I know you have no reason. Because this is a different universe. It's a different. It's a different universe. We don't know. We really didn't have time to go back and forth with Renner about this. So I think listening to her calm voice soothed my pointless impatience. Still, I hate it. Hesitated. You shouldn't even have told her that Rika Chan was in danger. You should have been like, all right, Rena, for your safety, just I'll tell you tomorrow at school, you know? Come up with a thing then, you know? Uh, who had snuck into the ritual storehouse? The mayor to whom Shion had confessed before that had already disappeared. I think that it's less that Rika Chan is in danger. Well, it, it's that Rika Chan is probably in danger, but I think it's Xion. I'm trying to think. Xion played a very convincing argument that it was because she told the mayor. What if? Oh my god, I cracked this case wide open. Hold on. Hold on. What if? Rika Chan's not in danger tonight. She. Okay. Hold on. I have to pause the game. Okay. What if. Because Rika Chan. Wait. Because demons know everything, right? They have shadows. They can know everything. That's what we learned in the first one is that there's like shadows following me or something and I didn't realize it until after the fact. What if. Xion had already known that I told Rika Chan already and knew that the mayor disappeared and then used her dumbfoundedness to make it seem like she didn't know that the mayor disappeared but then said oh I told the mayor everything so that so they're about to die what if Xion is just trying to get me in trouble and Rika Chan's not in any danger and because I'm telling the demons that I think Rika Chan or something is in danger with Brenna or whatever, what if that is like triggering them to come and kill me anyway? I don't know. I, like, it's all very, like, basic at, in my head right now. So I need to, like, get together my thoughts. But that's pretty crazy. That would be pretty crazy. I think I've cracked it. I think I've, I, I don't know. It was possible that Rika Chan is also. I don't know how to explain it to Rena. While I was tongue tied, Rena spoke up. Rena laughed a little, seeming a bit absent minded. I wasn't exactly in the mood to laugh, so this time I was dumbfounded. Rena continued in a cheerful yet purposeful, or still purposeful voice. Rena, thank you. ま、リカちゃんの家に電話はしたん。それでどうしても繋がらないから家のバッ。ああ、10分以上は鳴らし続けたと一緒としたら気づかなくて。リカちゃんの家はとても狭いだから電話が鳴ったらさとこちゃん
電話をそれだけ鳴らして誰も出ないのは絶対におかしいよ Is Rena a demon in this one? I think Ren is still a demon. Why would she not be a demon in this one? Ren understood the situation wasn't normal far faster than I could ever imagine her to. I'm trying to put knowledge from the last game into this game, and maybe that they're just not connected. But Mion seems to be the same. So what the fuck? Of the fact that Ren acknowledged this also meant that the best case possibility of it all was just the result of my own needless fears when not the one. No. No. No, this is terrible. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, I fucking hate this. Oh no, I hate this. Oh, I hate everything about this. Oh, I hate this! If Sonozaki main house was somehow lurking beneath the surface of act annual freak deaths, then the current heir to the family, Mion, wouldn't be uninvolved. So, wouldn't that mean that she wasn't uninvolved? Wasn't uninvolved. That is such a weird... Wasn't uninvolved in what happened. That's so weird. Was involved in what happened to the year... Maybe I'm just weird. This year, Takano-san and Tomitaki-san and the mayor's disappearance. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. Everything is bad. Oh, don't like the way that this turned at all. I've been in the place we usually do before school. Brenda wouldn't need to come all the way to my house. Parents would have objected if I told them I was leaving, so I creeped out without a word. Oh, so you're not. Oh, so you're leaving the house. They told you not to leave the house. This might lead to something interesting, but I'm still mad that that now it's known to Rena and Mion that shit is going down. She said that Rika chan and Satoko live together, right? Well, yeah, that was... that's given. Where's the horror music playing? Yeah, they're both together. Realizing what living together really meant caused my thoughts to immediately take a turn for the worse. Then, if there were a reason for Rika-chan to disappear, there shouldn't be one for Satoko. Yeah. This expression was all business. Was she mad? Came out of the blue and I was I faltered for a moment. What's the problem? Yeah. It seemed to know she was scaring me, took a couple of deep breaths, then continued as if admonishing me, but her expression didn't soften at all. Keiichi君、昨日村長さんがいなくなって村中でああ、そ、そういうことになるなじゃあ、もっと用心しなくこんな夜中にたった一人でこんなところで突っ立ってるなんて不用心にも程があるんだから Get out of here. My friend's in danger. I don't care about freaking... You told your family you'd be going to Rika-chan's house with me, didn't you? Oh, 
Since the night of Tanagashi, every night someone had died and disappeared to kind of sun on strange ends. And the next night, the elder vanished. Now, on the next night after that, Rika Chan and Satoko were nowhere to be found. I hadn't thought of. I hadn't been thinking of anyone but myself, but. It wasn't enough to say that Hinamizawa was a little weird at the moment, and in fact was. And it was, in fact, extremely strange. But I had even anticipated our own disappearances and told had told me to tell my family where I was going. I was embarrassed at my own carelessness. And I needed to be em and the need to be embarrassed made me afraid of the night. <laughs> this is terrible. Everything is terrible. The fact that we even told Mion is terrible. This is this I hate this. The moon seems strangely high in the sky. A sky that was usually vastless and cold. No matter how it would have never seemed to me a dream. Never seemed to me like a dream. This cruel fact had already confronted me. On such a crazy night, Rena had been unimaginably dependable. Hinamizawa's metamorphosis enough to make Rena's cautious and caution against me carelessness. Caution me against carelessness was to me the most fearsome thing at all. Oh, the moon seems strangely high in the sky. Okay. Yeah. Stupid. This this is fucking stupid. I'm I'm so mad. I I am beside myself with anger. We have we have met up with Mian on the way, and she, of course, was unsure whether to believe me about Rika Chan uh, and Satoko's disappearance. I fucking hate I, I hate you, Mian. Mian was clearly displeased. If this were a joke, it wasn't very funny. I understood how indiscreet my words were. Ever since the day before yesterday, someone had either died or vanished on every night. Thank you, I know this fact. Um, <laughs> Rika Chan and Satoko disappearing after all that. Yes. <sighs> this is a stupid line. If it really is a joke, don't get mad, someone. <laughs> However indiscreet a joke it may have been, if we learned that our friends were safe, it would end up being nothing more than a funny story. Having been warned about that by Rena, Mion gave a dry smile, the tension she felt loosening a bit. She mounted her bicycle as well. Our three bicycle lights flashed down the pitch black roads. They were some of the only illumination outside. Fuck, she's gonna ask me all kinds of questions. Get out of here, Mion. No one likes you. Mion asked me the same thing that I had trouble explaining to her. I don't like either of these people. Premonition, I could tell. I couldn't quite tell it was dark, but I thought I could see Mion smiling very ambiguous. Ambu <sighs> ambiguously. I, I know the word. I really do. I definitely understood that she was convinced, though, despite the darkness. But despite the darkness. I can't read because of... Did I dream while I was snoozing and I couldn't get it out of my head? I... I'm so mad that I can't read. I smoothly babbled out of my mouth. This is when Rena goes lies, and then I get killed. I was lying because I thought telling them I was connected to Xi'an would be like silently admitting that we'd stolen into the ritual storehouse together that night. Mia didn't press me any further. She should. Because I'm an idiot right now. She should just take every advantage because fucking... Like, F this entire situation. I don't know whether that convinced her. Or maybe she figured that making Rika-chan and Satoko... Making sure Rika-chan and Satoko were safe would be faster than making an issue out of it. I felt relieved, then immediately a little guilty. Mian hadn't really been acting any differently the last few days. And I'm still trying to distance myself from her for some reason. 
it was only because of what I heard from Shion and Oishi-san that the successor to some kind of super extravagant gang family. I'm just trying to force myself to forget. Don't do that, Keiichi. Wasn't it? Wasn't it Mion who was the first to ask about the night of Tanagashi? Was there a harsh tone at that? Have I already forgotten the terror I felt? At the time, Mion looked like someone different than the Mion I knew. When I think about that Mion, then Shion and Oishi-san's depictions of Mion made a tiny bit more sense. That's it, isn't it? If it wasn't for how she acted that day, then I wouldn't be feeling this way towards her now. What on earth was going on with her back then? I was conveniently thinking only of everything she had done after that, while disregarding the very thing, very first thing, the thing that I should have been looking at most, wasn't I? Mion was pedaling her bicycle in front of me, her long hair fluttering in the wind. No matter how long I looked at her back, it never gave me answers to any of my questions. We ran all the way to the stone steps leading up to the shrine grounds. Of course, we weren't going to haul our bikes up there, so we parked them beside the staircase instead. So the entire shrine is private property. It really makes sense. It really makes you feel the passage of time. 10 or 20 years ago, it would have looked exactly the same. I said something clearly disquieting, so I ran over to her. I looked around. Indeed, there were no other bicycles aside from the ones we'd taken to get here. Uh, could they have them upstairs? Mm. Just as she said, I couldn't imagine Rika Chan and Satoko lugging their bikes all the way up there. We hadn't yet knocked on Rika Chan's door, but the reality was already already sparking some ideas that weren't what you call good. Maybe they were just parked under some trees and we hadn't noticed them. I refuse to believe that not being able to find their bikes here was proof that they disappeared. <laughs> I don't like this. We passed through the Red Ark and came onto the Shrine Grounds, which was covered in neat gravel. It was so quiet here, as though the Watanagashi Festival had never happened. This is where the cops show up. The cops are going to show up and be like, Ooh, what's going on here? Why are the three people from Hinamizawa... At Rika, Chan, and Satoko's house. And then they're going to check the house. Boom, they're gone. <sighs> Rena took off. I took the lead and sprinted off. We went towards the assembly shawl. And looped back around it. In the darkness of the night, we found a small prefab. Wow, that's a small shack. Looks like a warehouse. It's <laughs> Uh, Ren and Mian looked uh, near the shack, which didn't really look like a place where people would live. They had such a beautiful shrine, so I thought they'd live in an equally beautiful house. It was far from what I had expected. Ren has shouted up towards the second floor. Her voice was restrained at first, but it suddenly grew louder. Oh. Neon banged on the shutter with both hands and loud sounds echoed into their surroundings. They would have had to notice as much noise. They would turn on the light in their room, fling open the windows, and yell, What time do you think it is? That, however, wasn't happening. There was absolutely no response. Neon stopped slamming her fist against the shutter and, suddenly, and a sudden silence fell over us. The silence aroused terrible thoughts in us. I could feel blood draining from my face. This is terrible. The police the police are gonna show so much. Oh. Oh. What if the police took Rika Chan and Satoko Chan and now they're investigating us because But that would be good though. I would like to be under investigation. 
Let's let's be under investigation. Let's do that. I showed no signs of stopping. It didn't look like she would admit they were that they weren't there until we went inside and saw for ourselves that refusal gave me strength. The police could have taken them, and then when we try to break into the house, they're like there waiting for us, you know. The second story windows wouldn't be locked. Building is a little unstable for me to be climbing it, but Mion held the ladder firmly in place for me. That's not a good that's not a good person to hold it. I didn't climb any ladders, so my inexperience with them my experience with you haven't climbed too many ladders? What's hard about climbing a ladder? My inexperience with them exposed, I climbed up one step at a time and tried to reach like, how do you mess up? Rena darted. Oh no. Rena. The main house. Oh, Rika-chan's父母亲は亡くなってるんだよな. After her parents passed away, I think it's been left like that. All right, so either they passed away, huh? At that point, I recalled something else. Wasn't Satoko living here too? Satoko was the father of the father of the father. The father of Satoshi. Satoshi is the father of the father of the father. He's the one who disappeared last year because of the curse. Satoko and Rika-chan are the one who is 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 the one the curtains were drawn so I couldn't get a look inside to see, but two young girls living together seemed like a pretty tough life. They wouldn't give them- yeah, isn't there like child laws over there where like you- they have to be assigned a parent or something? They're really bad for them. They had no idea- they were so they were normally so cheerful at school that I never realized the an atom of this. Suddenly, Mian said something in such a low voice that sounded like she was really cursing someone, and didn't let it, and I didn't let it slide. I turned around on the ladder to face her and asked her again. Mian still holding on the ladder, brought her head up to look me in the eyes. As soon as her eyes met, an absolute zero jolt of electricity surged through my body. Mian's eyes clouded over, and within them boiled and bubbled a stew of chaos. They whirled around like a raging sea, and bubbles floated to the surface. I had at some point been trapped on this ladder, being cornered on a dead-end street. Uh, I had intended to follow that up with, you're going too far with this joke, and give her a forced smile. However, on such an even footing I was, the only thing that came out of my mouth was a hoarse groan as I desperately struggled to not let the nausea overwhelm me. Yeah, answers with a response to something I never asked, as if replying to somebody else's question. あの子は一人だけ助かった。一人先であの子をいじめたおばは、渡流しの夜に異常者に脳みそがぐっちゃぐちゃに飛び散って、頭が原形をとどめないくらいにめった打ちにされて殺された。いつもあの子をかばってた
Mian rocked back and forth, and that rocking and trembling became even more violent. Help me. The ladder, it's falling. Help me. Police. Wee 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 wee. Just then, I heard the sound of many people running towards us. Very nearly said, "Help me out!" Right. Four or five adults, led by Rena, ran over with flashlights. I heard Mian talking like nothing had just happened, and I felt the chill run through me. The person currently holding the ladder in place, it was definitely Mian. It was the real Mian Sonazaki. Then, the person muttering to themselves, just a few seconds ago, who was that? The person who was mumbling about terrible things like curses, who was that? I jumped down, the, down from the ladder as if running away before Mion turned in to that person who wasn't Mion for a second time. The adults tried a few different keys on a key ring as they tried to open the big shutter on the first floor. Mi gave me a smile as she said that. However, I could only return her gaze with an aghast expression. Mian was acting all too normal now, but that only contrasted the more sharply, more sharply with her earlier unlike unmian like creepiness. Bang, bam, clatter, 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 bang. The shutter opened up for the very first time in a long while. Rena located the light switch and wasted no time going inside. I followed her in. Found a narrow staircase. It looked like nothing more than a warehouse. But now that I was inside, I could feel how lived in it was. It was a person's home. Somehow, the scent of the two of them filled the place. It was definitely where Rika Chan and Satoko lived. Oh, here we go with some music. Nice, dude. Fucking. It's gotta be like marimba, right? The first floor doubled as a town assembly warehouse, but the second floor was a space entirely for living. It's just like a. Just like a one room apartment. Past the kitchen was a living room taking about 150 square feet. Dressers, cupboards, and the like were packed into the space, and in a corner was a huge pile of clothes that appeared to have just been taken in from drying outside. The center of the living room was a fold-up table, and on it were small containers like soy sauce and salad dressing. The sense of a frugal lifestyle drifted from all of it. It was strange that they weren't here in the middle of the night like that. The adults climbing the stairs one at a time began to make a fuss and talk amongst themselves. No, you're not here. It's weird that Mian is. I don't, I don't like Mian or Rena, but it's weird that Mian is uh, is kind of like unaware. That makes me think that someone else is doing it, and the only person yet to be demonized or like villainized is. Shion. Everybody else is a deal. Well, and Oishi-san. But I think Oishi-san is the constant here. The constant friend. Um, so... And Shion's just new to this game. So until... In, unless we end this game and Shion is a normal person still. Um, or had died, has died in some way. Uh, I believe that she will be villainized too. Then today... Uh, even Rika-chan and Satoko had. They're playing somewhere together? Can't be. Their bicycles aren't here, though. Or they have gone so late at night. Did they just not come back yet? Where did they go? The adults put forth various possibilities, and the house immediately dissolved, evolved into a state of confusion. Eventually, Mion settled them down. I don't know, but... You don't have any relationship with your Faces paled at Mayon's declaration. Mine and Renan's did as well. 
お茶で起こすに起こせなくなってるなんて可能性ももちろんあるよねその可能性をまずつ牧野さんは裏手から沢野慶太郎さんはお茶会家の方岡村さんは Promptly gave directions to the villagers. The adults followed them without hesitation despite the rage. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. The adults all roared in reply and pounded back down the stairs below. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 The receiver got started. Rena gave Mion a trusting look, considering her dependable for doing all of this. My feelings, though, were a little more complicated since her leadership seemed to be affirming that the Sonozaki family's successor impression that Shion and Oishi san had given me. Stop right there, Keiichi Mebara. None of that matters right now. The most important thing is to make sure Rika, Chan, and Satoko are safe. Let's see, there couldn't be a clue hinting where they might have gone somewhere in this room. As long as you don't tell them. We tore the whole place apart and figured out what was different from before. We might be able to speculate, but there was nothing strange about this room and there were no clues in sight. In the first place, I had never been here before. There was no way for me to know what was different if I didn't know how the usual the room usually looked. Don't give up, Keiichi Meibara. Stop thinking and start looking. For something. In search of something, I tried pulling out the dresser drawers and opened up the windows. I didn't uncover anything meaningful, though. Rena. Also unable to stand around doing nothing, was looking around the room like I was. But Rena, the storage and the stuff in the drawer are open. I can't find it. Rika-chan will not find it. I'm sure it's hidden. We were searching. It got noisy outside. The villagers were quickly assembling here, having heard the commotion. Of course, a lot of them were probably people Mian had called. I, everyone, will talk to you. I don't like you. Mian began descending down the stairs, and we followed her out to the front of the house. Since she wants Oishi to know, I don't think that she's part of this this disappearance or either disappearance. The disappearances have to be caused by someone else. So there's a third there's a third party kidnapping people now, and the only and you think about the only one that they've introduced is Shion. That's new. So come on, you gonna tell me that Shion is normal? And she's been weird this entire time, like with Mion. You know, like we went to like her store and we were like, "Hey, Mion," she could just be acting scared. They're praying for Rika Chan's safety and rubbing their prayer beads. This has gotten bad. This wasn't just a problem. Even though she's like best girl right now, I, I still think that she could change. This wasn't a problem between friends anymore. Yeah, so all the demons don't know. The villagers form a ring around Mian, swarming her. Shion raised her right hand silently, of telling them to calm down. It would definitely be hard for someone to wake up Rika Chan if she had eaten a good full meal and fallen asleep like a kitten afterwards. Oh, how nice that would be if that were the case. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to think about it, but... Of course, there's a possibility that something bad could happen. I don't know what to do. 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 If that is their signal, the adults scattered in every direction. I figured I should scatter somewhere as well, so I started walking unsteadily in a direction no one else had gone in. I was getting farther and farther from people. I didn't feel scared or anything, though. If someone were made to disappear, Shion and I should be first. It would have been perfectly normal for me to be scared of the dark. However, I didn't feel that way. What was that? It was because tonight someone had already disappeared. So no one else would disappear tonight. It would take some time before I, exhausted as I was, would feel guilt at the cause of my own selfish sense of relief. That is perfect timing. I did a lot of talking this episode. Um, that's because I had a lot of opinions this episode.
Suddenly, my vision cleared and a cold wind caressed my body. We're going to go ahead and save right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, please hit the like button. I see you guys pressing the like button. Uh, and it means the world to me, like every like that I get. I, I promise you I like jump for joy every time I see a freaking like on a video. Uh, so if you want to give somebody joy, <laughs> uh, you can hit the like button. Also subscribe if you haven't done so already, or don't, you know. Uh, there's a lot of like interesting stuff going on. Uh, Shion has always been my favorite character in this one. Uh, but it's odd. It's odd when you think about a game like this, and I'm trying to think about it, at it from like a writer's point of view, uh, and trying to think of like how this person would write this story. Um, and when I think about it like that, I think that there's... The, so we're hinting at there's demons, right? The whole game we're hinting at there's demons. We introduce a new party, and we make them likable towards us. Then uh, shit starts happening. Shit that's not normal. Uh, the two people that disappeared, there, there was two people that were killed and two people unrelated. Well, related in the fact that they changed the padlocks. Disappeared first, which, which I think is very weird. And I think that Xi'an is maybe probably faking that she's scared, even though a lot of me wants her to just be another friend character. Uh, I think they already have the friend character locked with Oishi-san, and the substitute kind of for this game is Xion, and Xion's kind of gonna be the evil person. Now, what that means for the next couple games, I don't know. See, I don't, like, I'm interested to play the third game, because the first game, we had, like, a kind of introduction to the world, and everything was kind of new and fresh because you started exactly from that point. Now we're in another dimension. We're not even in the same... We're not even in the same timeline right now. So what then is the third game? Is the third game a continuation of the first game? Or is the third game yet another timeline? Because if these are all different timelines, then we're just meant to discover what's happening by viewing the situation from different timelines is that how that works i'm interested i'm interested uh, like i haven't seen the end of this one obviously so i don't know how it connects to the first one or if they even connect it to the first one and they leave that to other chapters to do uh but i'm gonna go ahead and end it here uh because i don't have a lot of information to go off of so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next episode of this and um peace out you guys